Hi, I'm Beatrice Larkin. I'm a woven textile designer, usually based in East London. I design all my fabrics there and then I work with a mill in Lancashire to get them all woven and they turn into throws, cushions and fabric by the metre. All based on my inky line drawings which I then um, work into the weaves. So usually in East London but since lockdown I've been in Whitstable with my family by the sea and I feel incredibly lucky to be able to have spent the time there. Um, yeah, it's given me such great headspace. Um, it hasn't really shifted the way I design, in fact it's just meant I can design more because I feel like I have so much more time than usual. I've suddenly realised how fast paced my lifestyle was in London and it feels so good to be out of that for the time being, although I really miss my life there too. Um, but I get to see the sea every day and in, in the last few weeks especially the weather has been beautiful in Whitstable so I think I'm in the best place I could be right now. Um, yeah in terms of how my business has adapted with social distancing not too much has changed because I work alone anyway um, and I manage my business on my own. I obviously Anything that's being shipped out, I'm conscious of guidelines. But again, it's working, it's couriers, it's queuing up at the post office from a distance. So not much has changed there. Um, and like, I think I've been keeping motivated more so than I was in London. I've got so many ideas now. I feel the headspace has just inspired me. Um, not anything specific that is inspiring me, I think just the space to think. Um, and I've been designing a lot of new fabrics, um, I've been thinking of other products to make and other ways to apply my designs, because the weaving process is quite a slow one, um, and there's lots of different parts of manufacturing. So especially in times like these, when it's tricky, the, all of those processes take a little bit longer and so I'm, I'm thinking about other ways to create products. So I'm looking into maybe thinking about print or other ways to apply my designs, which I think could be applied on many different surfaces. And I've been getting back, back into hand making, hand drawing. I've started lino cutting, which is new to me, and I've really enjoyed that process. Um, it's really therapeutic. And it's kind of reminded me how much I miss hand weaving as well, that same, zen flow state you get in when you do anything with your hands um so that's been lovely to do that too um i think hobbies or interests i just actually spending so much time on my business but i've been listening to a lot of podcasts i every day i try to go down to the sea i walk along the seafront um for about an hour or so and i put my headphones on and I listen to a podcast. I'm a bit addicted to podcasts at the moment um, and audio books as well. I can't seem to be sort of concentrating on reading a book, but when I listen to it, and it also means I can sort of design whilst um, listening as well. I'm really enjoying my podcasts, especially. Um, and then inspiring things um, during this period. I've been actually, because I've been really like, getting into all the sort of thinking about my business in the greater scheme of things and where I want to take it. I've been looking at a lot of um, webinars and there's been a lot of free webinars online um, that I think wouldn't have been free pre-lockdown. So I've been trying to access them like globally there's a lot about business um, and business in these times as well and how you can adapt and how your business can adapt um, during these times. Um, so that's been really beneficial to me and yeah, I think thinking about ways to take my business forward and how this time has really given me more direction. I think you can live with such a busy, crazy like, lifestyle in London and, and it's sometimes difficult to, um, to get that headspace and clarity and this time has really given me that. So I feel very inspired um, where I'm going to take my work in the future. So watch the space.